Hey, what's up guys? My name is Thomas. Today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to set your game to run in high priority mode. I'm specifically talking about Rust, but this can be done with other games that use easy anti-cheat system. Uh, I was inspired and actually taught how to do this by a YouTube channel called Sky Status. The link will be down below, but I made an edit to his notepad um, folder and this is what I have. This is the guide to do it for Rust. So if you want, you can pause this and just follow this guide, but I'll do a video of it right now. So the first step you need to do is open up your Cortana or whatever search you have, type in run, or you... so now that you're on your run page, type in reg edit, all one word, need administrative privileges. Now you're going to be going into your H key local machine. You're going to be going into your software going into Microsoft. Scroll down a little bit more. You have to actually scroll down quite a bit because we're trying to get to Windows NT. Current version. Now that once we're in current version, we're gonna scroll down until we find image file execution options. Now I already have some other games in here such as Fallout 4 um, in the Fortnite client. However, and I don't really play Fortnite anymore, but so what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're actually going to add a rustclient.exe. So the game is rustclient.exe, capital R, capital C, all one word, dot exe. I'll be, this will be in the description by the way. So we're going to right click image file execution options. We're going to click new and we're going to click key. Now we're going to rename it to copy and paste. Make sure there's no spaces at the end or the front. We're going to right click it again. We're going to click new. We're going to click key. And we're going to write capital P, P E R F, capital O, P T I O N S. So now that that's done, we have rustclient.exe and perf options. We're going to right click it once again and click new. D word 32 bit value. Click. Make sure that you're selecting the proper folders when you do these, by the way. Now, I'm just going to make sure I type this properly. I don't want to mess this up. So you right click this, you click rename. So there's default and the new value underneath per perf option. So click rename. C capital C P U P capital P R I O R I T Y capital C L A S S CPU priority class. Now be just make sure everything is properly typed. There's no spaces in the beginning or the end, and you have uh, you're just typing it properly, and everything is case sensitive. So now you're going to double click on CPU priority class, hexadecimal base, value data, set this to three. Click OK. And everything should be fine now. So if you want, you can go ahead and leave this open just to test. Um, now we're going to go ahead and close this and we're going to open up Steam. Now this should give you guys some decent FPS boost. A um, little bit. Not super crazy substantial, but it should be a noticeable amount. So we're going to go ahead and just launch Rust right here. It's in windowed mode. I don't usually play in windowed mode, but just for the sake of this video. Now we can test it right now. Rust is using almost 100% CPU usage, which is a very good sign of high priority. We're going to go into data, CPU priority, and it's now on high. Now, if you try to set it to four to match real time in the registry edit, it actually won't work. If you try to set it to four, it'll just base and go back to normal priority. Um, for some reason, you can't set real time through registry edit. You might be able to in some weird way. But yeah, guys, that's how you get rustclient.exe to run in high priority mode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, remember to drop a like and a subscribe. I'll really appreciate it. And have a good weekend, everybody. Take it easy.